dear friends, we will continue with the uh, problems in air conditioning. Uh, this is problem in air conditioning part 2. The example number 5. An office to be air conditioned for 50 staff when the outdoor conditions are 30 degrees Celsius and 70 percent relative humidity. If the quantity of the air is 0.4 meter cube per minute per person, uh, find the following. Capacity of the cooling coil in tons of refrigeration, capacity of the heating coil in kilowatts, amount of water vapor removed per hour. Assume that the record inlet conditions are 20 degree drive temperature and 60 percent relative humidity. The air is conditioned first by cooling and dehumidifying, then by heating. If the heating coil surface temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, find the bypass factor for the heating coil. So, write down the given data. Uh, the indoor outdoor condition 30 degrees Celsius, 70 percent relative humidity. Inlet condition is 20 degrees dilute temperature and 60 percent relative humidity. Heating coil surface temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And the volume of air is 0.4 meter cube per minute per person. The number of persons are 50. We take the psychrometric chart and we write down the data here. Outdoor condition 30 degrees Celsius, 70 percent relative humidity. You draw the vertical line, locate the point 1. In the inlet conditions are 20 degree dive temperature and the 60 percent relative humidity. So, draw the vertical line, locate the point 4 and uh, heating coil surface temperature is 25 degree Celsius. So, this is the 25 degree Celsius. And uh, as in the previous example, the, the final condition, indoor condition is achieved by three processes. First by cooling, then dehumidification and then by heating. So, cooling, dehumidification and then heating. So, cooling reducing the temperature, dehumidification removing the water vapor and heating increasing the temperature. So, after locating the point, we have to read the enthalpy values. Uh, H1 equal to 84, H2 equal to 78, H3 equal to 37 and H4 equal to 44 kilojoules per kilogram. Specific volume of the air here at the inlet condition is 0.89 meter cube per kg and the specific humidity W1 equal to W2 equal to uh, 20.5 and W3 equal to W4 equal to 9 grams per kilogram. So, this is what the property we have taken from the psychrometric chart. Now, we calculate the mass of the air, volume divided by specific volume. Volume is 0 0.4 meter cube per minute per person. So, 0.4 into 50 divided by 60 into point, divided by 0.89 specific humidity is 0.89 is equal to 0.37 kg per kilogram. And the capacity of the heating coil, Ma into H4 minus H3 which is 0.37. So, heating coil, so this is the heating coil. So, the air is heated from uh, initial condition H3 to the final condition H4. So, H4 minus H3 into mass of the air. Cooling coil, initial condition is H1, final condition H2. So, H1 minus H2 uh, into the mass of the air. That is what the uh, capacity. Capacity of the heating coil, Ma into H4 minus H3, which is 0.37 into 44 minus 37 equal to 2.59 kilowatts and the capacity of the cooling coil MA into H1 minus H2 which is 0.37 into 84 minus 78 equal to 2.22 kilowatts. And the mass of the water vapor removed MA into W2 minus W3 equal to uh, 0.37 into 20 minus 20.5 minus 9 divided by 1000 which is 0 0.004255 kilograms per second. So, these are all the unknown and the bypass factor uh, uh, referring to the chart once again. So, this is the surface temperature of the heating coil, this is the outlet temperature of the air, this is the inlet temperature of the air. So, the uh, bypass factor equal to T5 minus T4 divided by T5 minus T3. So, the T, uh, surface temperature minus outlet temperature divided by surface temperature minus the inlet temperature. So, calculating the bypass factor T5 minus T4 divided by T5 minus T3 which is 25 minus 20 divided by 25 minus 12 which is 0.38, bypass factor is 0.38. And example number 6, an air conditioning system is designed for the data given below, outdoor condition 30 percent Celsius, 30 degree Celsius and 80 percent relative humidity, indoor condition 22 degree Celsius and 70 percent relative humidity. The amount of air circulated uh, is 3.5 meter cube per second, 
coil dew point temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. So the you have we are using a refrigerator refrigeration system for cooling and dehumidification. Uh, where the coil surface temperature, dew point temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. The required condition is achieved first by cooling and dehumidification and then by heating. So determine the capacity of the cooling coil, capacity of the heating coil, amount of water vapor removed. So write down the given data, outdoor condition 30 degrees Celsius, 80 percent relative humidity, indoor condition 22 degrees Celsius, 70 percent relative humidity, amount of air circulated 3.5 meter cube per second and the coil dew point temperature is 14 degrees Celsius. So you take the psychrometric chart, these are all the values given and the process involved here, cooling and dehumidification and then heating. So you look at the first point. 30 degrees Celsius and 80 percent relative humidity. This is point number one. And uh, look at the second point. So, this is the coil. Next step is you have to uh, you look at the coil temperature, coil dew point temperature 14 degrees Celsius on the uh, saturation line. So, this, so this is the point number four. Now, what you have to do, you have to draw a line connecting one and four using the scale. You draw a line. Now, the final condition is uh, 20 degrees Celsius and 70 percent relative humidity. You draw on vertical line, locate the point 2. Now, from 2, you draw the horizontal line to meet this inclined line at 3. So, locate to 1, locate to 4, connect to 1 and 4, locate 2, and from here 2, you draw on horizontal line to meet here at 3. So, this is what the process cooling and dehumidity 1 to 3 is cooling and dehumidification and 3 to 2 is the heating process. Cooling, dehumidification and the heating process. Now, the read the value, reading the value, H1 equal to 88, H2 equal to 56, H3 equal to 52, H4 equal to 41, uh, specific, specific humid W1 equal to 0 0.022, W3 equal to W2 equal to 0 0.013 and W4 equal to 0 0.011 kg per kg of air. And specific humidity of the specific volume of the air B1 equal to 0.892. So here point it is 0.892. Then calculate the parameter mass of the air equal to MA equal to volume by specific volume, uh, capital V by small v equal to 3.5 divided by 0 0.892, which is 3.92 kilograms per second. Uh, capacity of the heating coil MA into H2 minus H3 equal to 3.92 into uh, 56 minus 52 equal to 15.68 kilowatts. Capacity of the cooling coil is equal to MA into H1 minus H3, which is 3.92 into 88 minus 52, uh, which is 141.12 kilowatts. And mass of the water vapor removed is MA into W1 minus W3 equal to uh, 3.92 into 0 0.022 minus 0 0.013, which is 0 0.0353 kilograms per second. So these are all the answers for the problem. And example number seven. A hall is to be air conditioned for the following data. Outdoor conditions are uh, 30 degrees Celsius day work temperature and 18 degrees Celsius wet work temperature. The required comfort condition is 20 degrees Celsius day work temperature and 60 percent relative humidity. The seating capacity of the hall is 2000. Amount of outside air supplied is 0.35 meter cube per minute per person. If the required condition is achieved by adiabatic humidification and then cooling, uh, determine capacity of the cooling coil and capacity of the humidifier. So, write down the given data. Outdoor conditions are 30 degrees Celsius and uh, uh, 30 degrees Celsius day work temperature and 18 degrees Celsius wet work temperature. Required comfort conditions are 20 degrees Celsius day work temperature and 60 uh, percent relative humidity. And seating capacity of the hall is 2000. Amount of outside air supplied is 0.35 meter cube per minute per person. And uh, here, the first uh, outdoor condition 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, Dive temperature and 18 degrees Celsius wet bulb temperature. The required condition is the 20 degrees Celsius day bulb temperature and 60 percent relative humidity. Now, this is the final condition, this is the initial condition. The process is achieved by adiabatic humidification and then cooling. So, for so you from 3 uh, for you draw an horizontal line, from 3 you draw an horizontal line, from 1 you draw a constant enthalpy line. So, these two will meet here at 2. So, this is adiabatic humidification and 2 to 3. 1 to 2 is adiabatic humidification and 2 to 3 is the cooling process. 
Now you read the values. Specific enthalpy H1 equal to H2 equal to 51, H3 equal to 43 kilojoules per kilogram. Specific humidity W1 equal to 0 0.006, W2 equal to W3 equal to 0 0.008 uh, grams per uh, kilograms per kg of air. And the specific volume here at the inlet condition is 0.882 meter cube per kilogram. So these are all the properties taken from the econometric chart. And uh, mass of the air equal to volume by specific volume, which is 2000 persons consuming 0.35 meter cube per minute. So dividing by 60 into divided by the specific volume 0.882, which is 13.23 kilograms per second. That is what the total quantity of air uh, circulated through the system. Capacity cooling coil, MA into H2 minus H1, H2 minus H3, which is 13.23 into 51 minus 43 equal to 105.84 kilowatts. And the mass of the water vapor removed is equal to MA into uh, W2 minus W1, which is 13.23 minus uh, into 0 0.008 minus 0 0.006 equal to 0 0.037 kilograms per second. So these are all the answers. Capacity of the cooling coil is 105.84 kilowatts and mass of the water vapor removed is 0 0.037 kilograms per second. And problem number 8, a restaurant is to be air conditioned for a winter condition for 100 persons with the following data. The outdoor conditions are 10 degree dry well temperature and 8 degree wet well temperature. The record indoor conditions are 20 degree Celsius dry well temperature and 60 percent relative humidity. The amount of air supplied is 0.35 meter cube per minute per person. And the conditions, the required conditions to be, uh, uh, is to be achieved first by heating and then by adiabatic humidification. So calculate the heating capacity of the coil and capacity of the humidifier. So given data is outdoor conditions 10 degrees Celsius and the uh, 10 degrees Celsius table temperature and the 8 degrees Celsius wet bulb temperature. The record indoor conditions are uh, 20 degrees Celsius table temperature and 60 percent relative humidity. Amount of air supplied is 35 meter cube per minute per person. Number of persons are 100. And you take this agrometric chart, the outdoor condition and indoor condition. The outdoor condition is marked 10 degrees Celsius and the 8 degree relative uh, drive uh, 10 degree Celsius drive temperature, 8 degree wet bulb temperature. And the uh, outdoor uh, indoor condition is 20 degree Celsius and 60 percent relative humidity. So these two are achieved by uh, heating and the humidification. So this is 1 to 3 is heating and 3 to 2 is adiabatic humidification. So you draw the horizontal line from 1. So it will meet here and uh, from 2 you draw one constant enthalpy line. These two lines will intersect at the point 3. So this is heating, sensible heating and 3 to 2 is the adiabatic heating process. You take all the properties, specific humidity H1 equal to 28.5. H2 equal to 48.3 uh, and specific, specific humidity equal W1 equal to 0 0.0058, W2 equal to 0 0.0085 kg per kg of air and specific volume V1 equal to 0.81 meter cube per kilogram. And we calculate the mass of the air. So mass of the air equal to volume by specific volume. There are 100 percent consuming 0.35 uh, kilograms per minute. So 100 into 0.35 divided by 60 into uh, 0.81 the specific volume of the air which is 0 0.72 kg per kg of the kgs per second and the uh, capacity of the heating coil ma into h2 minus h1 so 0 0.72 into 48.3 minus 28.5 which is 14.256 kilowatts and the uh, capacity of the humidifier that is water amount of water vapor removed that is equal to ma into w2 minus w1 which is 0.72 into 0 0.0085 minus 0 0.0058 which is 0 0.00194 kilograms per second. So thank you. So listen to the video for the problem and uh, you take your uh, uh, notes, take the problem and use the psychrometric chart. You solve the problem on your own. Uh, it will improve your confidence and you can face the examination uh, confidently uh, to get a pass. Thank you. We'll meet again.